Okay, hello everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I hope you've had a good day uh, up to now. I am Hamid Razan Uri, the content manager of the uh, Chain of Legends game. And I'm hosting the AMA, this AMA today. Uh, and also, I'm the pres uh, at the presence of uh, the CEO of the project, Mr. Ali Gunabadi. He's the one who will answer all of your questions. Mr. Gonabadi, would you please say hello to our audience? Hello, everyone. Good afternoon to you all. I'm Ali Gonabadi, the CEO of Chain of Legends and the designer of tokenomics of the game. And I try to answer your question to full extent. Uh, okay. That's good. Uh, we have to wait a bit, a little, uh, for uh, everyone to join. Uh, but uh, thank you for putting this time to interact more with uh, the community, uh, Mr. Bonabadi. Um, I suppose that uh, today our team uh, participated in answering all of your questions, uh, and, um, uh, and the questions were asked uh, during a, an a AMA thread. Uh, on all our social, social social media, and we are going to talk about our NFT presale, which uh, is going to be held uh, on March 31st. Uh, as a lot of valuable information has been shared, we've listed uh, the questions, and we are going to answer all of them. Uh, then we will consider answering any live questions that uh, our community has. Uh, also, in the middle of the way, uh, we'll be hosting one of the valuable members of our community, Mr. Raturi, as our honored guest. And the sweet part of whitelist gifts will be handled at the end of the AMA, AMA among participants. Let's go uh, to the AMA question, but um, also we can wait a bit uh, for everyone to join. Uh, do you agree, Mr. Gonabadi? In the meanwhile, we can't uh, explain about the secret thoughts that our uh, audience uh, usually ha has a uh, question always about the secret code when it comes, when it expires, and it's it, if you want to say something. Uh, okay, that's good. Um, that's a good question to uh, start, but uh, uh, I'll uh, talk a bit about it, uh, not to drift apart from the real subject and the leading subject. Uh, the secret code uh, was meant to inform our community um, about um, the the subjects that we are going to uh, uh, expose or uh, talk about them uh, in our social medias. <clears throat> We're about uh, different things, different subjects about uh, our project, and uh, you know, we try to uh, inform uh, our community through uh, making this interesting subject uh, and uh, lead them to uh, go to our different social media to uh, find the um, best possible uh, answer and um, uh, of getting um, more points in a give lab account and um, to uh, more points and uh, also, uh, uh, I don't know what what to say more. <laughs> um, was it fine. enough or not? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we may start I think now. We, should... we can repeat some questions uh, at the end for audience who join it lately. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I think we have waited enough and uh, we have to start the uh, AMA questions. Uh, so um, if anyone uh, joined us in the middle of the way, uh, we will uh, 
ask the questions again. Okay, uh, Mr. Gonovedi, for the first question, uh, please uh, tell us a bit about the chain of legends itself and uh, introduce it to us. Yes, sure. Chain of Legends is a true play to earn game with strong tokenomics. That's ensure players and investors earn reasonable profit while they have fun playing Chain of Legends. The game has various parts, mining, adventures, PvP battles, Guild Wars, BTC. These parts have various difficulties, profits, and risks at the same time. Mining is the safest part while the PvP battles and Guild Wars need more strategy and teamwork to achieve victory and earn valuable prizes. Okay, uh, that's already fascinating enough to me. Uh, I don't know about our audience. Uh, I hope uh, they've also got fascinated. Uh, okay, as the question number two, uh, what motivated you to start this project? Mm. You know, totally, in my opinion, play to earn is a brilliant idea to create value and share it with community of the game. Players will get rewarded for playing their favorite game, but most of play to earn, play to earn games have a big issue that comes from misunderstanding of founders from the tokenomic or the greed for making the community instead of rewarding them for playing the game. Uh, most play to earn games suffer from huge inflation. You may see they have a fixed amount of tokens in circulation, but they mint more and more infinite NFTs every day. This causes players to make uh, to mine an enormous total of amount of uh, tokens every day. I see in some games. The players earn 5% of total reward pool every day. So the tokens price will lead back to zero in the short term and make players experience a huge loss. So we decided to make a true play to earn game without inflationary problems, considering benefits of players and investors at the same time. Wow, yeah, you're right. Uh, I myself have witnessed many blockchain games in the past uh, couple of years that didn't consider this matter. And as a matter of fact, uh, they uh, didn't last long. All right, let's proceed to the next question. Question number three. Uh, can you list three uh, killer features of the, of the project that make it ahead of uh, other games? Or let me uh, rephrase it, let me ask, it in, in a better form. Uh, what are the competitive advantages that you feel most confident about? Mm. <clears throat> if I want to mention top three features of the game, uh, I can mention two. Uh, number one, daily mining limits. Player can mine a limit, limited total number of select token, which is our games token per day, just like Bitcoin. There are only 2,000 lands per day to buy for players who want to mine silk. Lands are available at a very good price to give players up to 90% profit per month and 30 days uh, return on investment, which is fantastic. Uh, if lands are sold out, players can place a bid uh, for the next available land and players may have to pay more to acquire a land. This causes less months to profit but guarantees ecosystems health and supports silly price that eventually is good for community and players. This feature makes a balance when community is a small they earn high profit, and when community grows bigger, it controls inflation to, co to keep up the tokens price and make Chain of Legends a more trustable project. And uh, another feature I can mention here is the mining cycles. Just like Bitcoin, uh, the mining rate will be reduced over time. 
to control inflation and make select token more valuable and lighter. The first mining cycle is at least 10 days. The second uh, one is 11 days and so on. Uh, so uh, each new cycle uh, lasts at least uh, one day longer than the previous one. Uh, is it right or not? Exactly. After each cycle, new lands will uh, have 5% less resources and mining rate also decrease. By 5%, the early participants will experience a very high ROI and the participants who join us later will also earn good and reasonable profit through playing and investing in the game. And uh, number three uh, feature that I can mention here is that we have an aggressive token burn strategy. 70% of all players' income that is spent inside the game will get burned to make select or uh, more rare and valuable over time. Uh, uh, yeah, I felt the aggression in my bones. <laughs> but uh, also it's a smart move, you know. Um, uh, but the question is here. Uh, almost every investor holds and um, holds their, their tokens and uh, for the short term uh, without considering the benefits of uh, long-term uh, value. Uh, so how can you ensure our audience that holding this token is more beneficial for the long-term? Uh, mm -hmm. And what is your plan to increase the demand and uh, scarcity of the silic? Um, as I mentioned before, because of mining cycles, aggressive token burn, NFT lands and silic will uh, become uh, more and more valuable over time. Patient investors and players can make a good fortune out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you did mention it, uh, but it was nice to hear uh, the titles again. Uh, tell us something. Uh, ask question number five. Uh, are you up to getting any audit reports? And how safe is your smart contract? Uh, we will uh, submit for certain audits as soon as possible and uh, use latest and we are using latest blockchain technologies and tools like upgradable proxies and open zeppelin libraries in Fiora, Bitchain DB, Truffle, ETC. So yeah, it's safe and we will try hard to remove any bugs and be comfort in our paths. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, that, uh, those are very good websites. Uh, we are looking forward to observe uh, those audit reports uh, and I'm certain that as soon as they study our white paper uh, and tokenomics, they will get convinced very easily. Uh, and as the last question, question what is uh, the number uh, one priority for the Chain of Legends team uh, in the next six months? Uh, our focus that would be uh, developing and launching the game ASAP, growing our community and supports loyal players. These are our top priority in upcoming months. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very promising. All right. Uh, I think uh, that's enough for now. Uh, and uh, we have received a lot of information up to now. Uh, that was very good. Uh, I believe that our participants are looking for a little uh, explanation about our, uh, our NFT per se. Um, but before going uh, to that uh, part, uh, please let me uh, mm, give time to our audience uh, to ask uh, their questions if they have one. Um, okay, Mr. Uh, Obey Zog, if I am uh, right. Hello?
Okay. Mr. Obaid? Um, I have your voice. Hello. I have your voice. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you? From Indonesia. Uh, that's very good, uh, pal. Okay, do you have any questions, Obaid? Obey. Okay. It seems that uh, we have a little difficulties in making con contact. So, uh, we muted uh, everyone. We are sorry about that. <clears throat> um, okay, uh, Mr. Bonavadi, uh, would you please now open up a, lit a little about uh, our NFT pre-save uh, and uh, explain to everyone uh, what are the uh, advantages of the uh, our uh, NFT pre-save? Uh, what um, uh, possible benefits they can have and uh, open it up a little bit. Uh, okay, as a matter of fact, this NFT pre sale is the greatest opportunity for the smart players and investors to be the first one who play Chain of Legends and take the highest ROI. Uh, you may wonder why this because of all existing lands for first, first cycle is getting sold in on this person and when game launch for first 10 days no land will be available on the website to buy if anyone wants to buy the land and start playing he should go to marketplace and look for lands owners who wanted to sell the nft lands which this uh, land owners are who participated in this nft preset Players can also place bid for next cycle's land, which are getting generated, and they have to wait at least for 10 days. Uh, and uh, it may be there is high demand, and uh, they should uh, produce high bids for next available lands. Uh, the mm -hmm. higher bids, the land sooner than others. So, yeah, if you uh, Join uh, and participate in NFT pre sale. You have very good opportunities, and you are only owners of the NFT lands for the first 10 days of the game and the richest lands. As we mentioned the, in the uh, uh, mining cycles, after each cycle, uh, lands uh, have less resources, new lands have less resources, and the uh, mining rate will reduce after this. So the first cycle has our richest have richest lands and uh, highest uh, mining rates. So it is so important. This energy producing land can really really good opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, and also uh, it would become interesting uh, an interesting auction when people uh, go in, in the marketplace and place bids. Uh, Mm, uh, everyone wants to uh, place a higher bid and uh, mm, obtain the mm, next upcoming lands. Um, yeah, it would be interesting, I, I suppose. Uh, okay, uh, would you specifically uh, describe a bit more about uh, uh, the boxes the, uh, and the uh, NFT lands that uh, are inside each box? Yeah, of course, uh, as for the dates, the first day uh, is the uh, March 31st. We'll get belong to purchasing gold boxes, which are uh, rarest of them all. Total, only 25 gold boxes containing 30 precious NFT land, which are most legendary and rare lands. This. Mm -hmm. 
The second day, April 1st, will be owned by copper box buyers. Uh, each of 75 copper box has 30 lands with a lower chance of legendary lands uh, and more of rare and uncommon lands. Uh, mm -hmm. The third day uh, is April uh, second. Will be held for purchasing the pirate boxes. One hundred fifty uh, pirate box will be available on that day, and each box consists mostly uncommon and common lands. And uh, finally, the fourth day is April third. Uh, will be uh, in the lands of uh, Cobalt Box, they can uh, purchase 250 boxes, including uh, lots of common lands and uh, low chains for uh, other lands. Uh, we can make a table and uh, share it on our social media uh, for details of uh, these numbers, and players can uh, check them soon and uh, get to know better about the lands we will uh, uh, available we will make it available on Twitch. Mm -hmm. uh, it's much amazing <coughs> and convincing that I'm about to participate in this pre-sale myself. Uh, okay, everyone, uh, I hope you're not bored and enjoyed the conversation uh, like I did. Now, um, Let's uh, talk a, a little uh, with our community. Uh, if anyone wants to come up and uh, ask uh, for a, a microphone to talk and ask his question, uh, you can raise your hand or uh, ask your ask uh, for a microphone. Anyone? Uh, Putra Tang Tang Tangel, uh, hello. Putra. Are you here, Putra? Okay, uh, you're not here, so sorry about that. Um, here we have uh, Prince of God. Uh, how are you, Prince of God? Uh, do you want to uh, talk a little with us? Okay, sure. And you're up now. Hello, how are you? Uh, okay, uh, would you in introduce us uh, uh, yourself a bit uh, so everyone know you? My name is so I just want I just want to see what I will see and what I will see and what I will see. Okay. Have you guys decided the time to launch the launch time for the game? Okay, Mr. Gonodi, please, uh, would you please answer that? Uh, he, he wants to know uh, uh, when we'll be uh, launching the game's token. Uh, sure, uh, uh, as we want to uh, deliver best quality to our community and uh, uh, have the best game and with, uh, without any, any issue, and uh, we just want to release token and uh, collect the people money. We want to uh, make the best quality and uh, make everything ready to launch. 
So uh, we may uh, need more time than what we planned, and uh, I guess uh, at least uh, 30 days to 60 days uh, we need the time to we can launch our token in launch pads and uh, list them on the exchange. Uh, okay, that was good. Uh, Prince, did you uh, get satisfied with the answer or not? You're welcome. Uh, do you have any other questions? Okay, that's good. Um, nice to uh, have you here. Nice to talk to you. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, uh, we had uh, uh, an honored guest, uh, Mr. Raturi, the winner of our previous poll, but uh, he's not here, uh, unfortunately, and we cannot uh, be uh, at his service. So um, maybe in uh, other time, uh, we talk uh, with him and uh, meet him uh, in another AMA. Mm, although he said that uh, I will be okay uh, and I will participate, but I don't know, maybe something happened to him and uh, he's not uh, okay right now. Um, if uh, you have no questions, uh, Prince, um, we are done now and uh, we'll be uh, looking forward in uh, seeing you guys uh, again very soon. Thank you for hosting this AMA and uh, uh, thank you all listeners to spend time and hear us. Thanks everyone. Yes. Thank you all for participating in the AMA and we wish you all uh, a good day and happy life. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Goodbye.